In the last lecture, you learned how to create an email campaign. And in this lecture, we're going to complete the very important step to actually analyze the results of the campaign, because this is the key opportunity for you to analyze the data, learn from your successes or failures so that you can really get better as you go forward. So there's two places that we're going to look at the data. One here is in MailChimp. And you can see already we can see percentage number of opens and clicks. There's also a bigger report here we're going to look at. And then also in Google Analytics, if you come down to acquisition campaigns, all campaigns, you can now see the information for the email campaign that we sent out. And remember that this is coming through because we have added uh, Google Analytics to our MailChimp account. So that was why it was important to do that. So we can really see the number of people that came to the website from that email campaign and also the number of people then who eventually signed up. But let's go back and start with MailChimp. So at a high level here in the campaign, we can see the percentage opens and clicks, but we can click through to, to the report to see a lot more detail. Now, if you have a professional or pro MailChimp account, you can set up kind of revenue goals, etc. and really see revenue driven, but I haven't done that. So um, we'll just be looking really at the information here. So you can get a, a sense of how good your open rate is by, by using these benchmarks here. So it says the industry average for education and training, which is the market I'm in is a 13.8% open rate. So I'm well above that. Uh, obviously, I've got a much smaller list, but I think that's uh, not too bad. So I think the key thing that gets people to open emails is the subject line. So at least now I have a benchmark going forward that I can get a sense of, you know, are my subject lines getting better? Are more people opening them? Or are people starting to trust me more and like me more? Uh, or is that something I need to work on? Now we've got the click rate then. So that was actually the call to action. 5.6% versus 1.5% for an industry average. So that's probably a little lower than I would have liked. Um, and so that's what I can really think about now. How can I make it more exciting for them to actually click on that button? Can I make it uh, something you know, like they have to click now if they want to take advantage of whatever the offer might be. But thinking about how can I get more to people to click because that's ultimately what I want people to do. So it's good to see the numbers have a baseline there. Now looking across, I can see that there was one unsubscribe. So one person when they got the email decided to unsubscribe from the list. So that's uh, only one person out of 71. That's not too bad at all happy enough with that. Now, if you want a further explanation on all of these metrics, you can see then there's a little icon here uh, that you can click around and it'll help explain those more for you. You also can see a 24 hour performance. It's not quite been 24 hours. Um, it's been about 12 hours since I sent out the email. So I would expect these numbers to bump up a little bit over the next few days because not everybody opens the email on the, you know, the minute it goes out, they can come back to it later. But interesting to see that about an hour after I sent the email, there was a spike. So maybe next time I will push my email campaigns to be in one hour later. Um, and per perhaps then that is a better time where I would get more opens. So there's some great information here in this report alone that can help you improve your next email campaign um, for the subject lines, getting people to click that call to action, the, the time that you send it out, etc. And so as you do more and more campaigns, you want to keep coming back to this learning from the data. Now, as well as the analytics here in MailChimp, you might want to come into your Google Analytics account under acquisition campaigns, all campaigns. And you will see the results here for the actual email campaign. So I can see that there was five new users came to the site as a result of the email campaign, spending an average time of three minutes and 43 seconds on the site, which is pretty long. And uh, then actually two people ended up signing up for the email 
list. So that was the main thing that I wanted people to do. So you can see that all the way from that number all the way back to the full uh, you know, list of the email subscribers, it's a pretty small percentage. But essentially, that is kind of the baseline that we're working with right now. And remember that there are a lot of steps in the process to get people to that point. And if you can tweak all of those steps in the process, and then you're going to get better results, as well as email being a source of traffic, we can use email and the figures we've got here now as a baseline to compare our other sources of traffic, whether it be social media, um, you know, wherever, at least we have a great baseline now to compare them with. And uh, so that is really, really useful to have. So that really wraps up this whole uh, section on email marketing. This is a very important piece of it, understanding and analyzing the metrics. And that is how you're going to learn if you're not quite happy with the results that you got. Don't view that as a failure, view that really as an opportunity to learn.